Good morning guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today has been a very interesting day. Also the background, I can't get used to that. I know in the last video we went through all the Halloween stuff, put it away. I like this, I like the bright green, but I'm not used to it yet. So that kind of threw me off. However, guys, it's been um, an interesting day and I was gonna go about this vlog being like super peppy and, and I'm like, but I think I need to talk to you guys about how my day went, realistically, how it went and how difficult it was for me to get going today. So I started off my morning really early at the gym. I woke up at 5 a.m., I was at the gym at 6 a.m. I was ready, I was prepared, I had my clothes laid out uh, from the night before. My sciatica, as soon as I got out of bed, I noticed my back was like, there was something wrong. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna keep going and during my workout, which my brother filmed a few clips, which I'll show you guys, or I'll just show you as I'm talking. It's not many, but we were planning on like a HIIT workout today and I'm like, I don't think I can run. I know with sciatica too and herniated disc, you shouldn't be running and jumping and all that, but we had to really tone it down. So we did very minimal, like basically I did lunges um, and my balance was off. Everything was off with my body. My body was just practically working against me, but we did as much as we could. At the end, my brother pretty much cut me off like 20 minutes early before my workout ended. And he's like, I think you're done for the day. And I really focused on stretching, but it was a struggle. But the moral of me sharing this was, yes, I was having some body issues. Yes, things were working against me, but I got up and I kept going. And then that's the other thing, you realize you have to limit yourself and pay attention to the signs and the symptoms. And I don't know what triggered it, but it was just a bad day for me. And then I came home and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna shower, which I did have a very nice relaxing shower, um, which brings me to today's sponsor as well, which is Native, but we will talk about Native in just a second. But I started getting really nauseous and I'm like, it's got to be my medication. So I came off of the birth control, which I shared with you guys, and I'm on like the full dose of estrogen. And I think it's causing a lot of nausea. So, but it's just been a weird off day for me. And it's going on 1.15 and I'm just now kind of getting started with my day. But going back to Native, you guys know that I have worked with Native before in the past. They are one of my favorite brands and they have come out with some amazing body washes. I'm hooked on their deodorants. It's the only deodorant that I use. Native is a lovely brand. It's made with ingredients that you understand, you can pronounce. They have sent me a few new scents. They also have holiday scents, which I'm ex I'm I'm just I'm so excited about. But I'm gonna share the three that they have sent me. So we have the Earl Grey and Mulberry, which sounds so fun. It's what I used in the shower today. I've been using it for a while now. The lather, can we talk about that? That's such an important factor for me. If, the, if it doesn't lather, I feel like I'm not getting clean. So that's a huge plus. And the scent is very long lasting. I just love it. And it's very nourishing on the skin too. It doesn't leave me stripped or dry. We also have Citrus Herbal Musk, which is Larry's. And then next is eucalyptus mint, which is my go-to when I have a headache or a migraine. It's very invigorating, it's very fresh, it opens up the sinuses. I just love that about this scent. It's just, it's just lovely. So this is a sulfate-free, paraben-free, and made from ingredients you understand. Eucalyptus oil, coconut-based cleanser, water, and cleansing salt. Now, this is a scent, coconut vanilla. This is my go-to. I have repurchased this scent so many times. It's just classic. It's also my favorite scent in their deodorant. And then I also have the oat milk latte, which was very nice for fall. I am down to here. I'm about halfway done. I don't know, you probably can't see through that bottle. Um, but love this as well, very fall. But this is my go-to classic all the time. But let me share their Christmas festive scents. I'm about to go on and purchase them all. They have given me an amazing deal to share with you guys as well. So I'm gonna read it verbatim straight from my phone. Three body washes are normally $24, but if you use my link in code, which is Mindy M5, you'll get them for $14, that's 40% off. Don't miss out guys, because this is only a limited time offer. And I did want to share the holiday scents with you guys because you, you just you just need them in your life. All right, so the holiday scents that they have out, and they have it in the body wash and the deodorant, but for the body washes, they have candy cane, 100% getting that. Actually, I'm getting all three of the scents. They have candy cane, sugar cookie, and fresh mistletoe. They also make the perfect Christmas gift. 
packaging is really cute. I love that as well. So with the body washes, I'm gonna read a few main points for you guys. They are sulfate-free, phthalate-free, and dye-free. They're vegan and cruelty-free, and they have citric acid for pH balance and food-grade cleansing salts to keep your skin ultra happy. So Native has more to offer other than body washes. Like I've said, they have the deodorant, which I rant and rave about. They also have toothpaste. So again, don't miss out on their deal. I'll have it listed down below. Again, my code is MindyM5 definitely get yourself some body washes. So thank you so much Native for sponsoring this video and introducing me to my favorite body washes and deodorants. So now for the rest of the day, the plans, currently it is Thursday. Is it Thursday or is it Wednesday? I don't know, I think it's Thursday. No, it's Wednesday. Gary is out and about. He has taken my car to go get an oil change, which is so sweet. Well, technically he had to find oil filters for it. It's very complicated. But we are doing something very fun today as well. We are heading out to Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be picking up my mom and we're gonna have like a little mom daughter date and go to Hobby Lobby, which sounds incredible. They have, I think 50% off their Christmas stuff, but I told you guys, I am looking for garland. And I know it's a little early, but I kid you not, last year, if you guys remember, let me know in the comments down below if you remember the Christmas tree debacle that we had last year. We ran out of lights or something happened with the lights and we had to go to three or four different stores to get these lights because everywhere was sold out on December 1st because that's how I always start the opening of Vlogmas is like decorating the Christmas tree and it's like the most exciting thing ever because traditionally I used to decorate and set up the Christmas tree on Black Friday but I wait now to do it with you guys and I went to Hobby Lobby guys they were taking all the Christmas stuff down. They were putting freaking spring stuff in the store. And I was like, Christmas has not happened yet. What is happening? Um, so you pretty much need to buy it when it's out because come Christmas, it will be gone. There will be no Christmas. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm very excited to do that. And oh, I wanted to share, what did I film this morning? I feel like I started filming snippets throughout the day. Oh, I wanted to show you, oh, I showed you guys my workout and then, oh, my breakfast. I made a really good, healthy, hearty breakfast. So I've realized that my eggs, sometimes they'll trigger me to have stomach aches and stuff like that. So I've noticed that my stomach tolerates them well if they are baked. So I did like a really cute mixed like broccoli I think I put in there and I put a little green pepper in there, some salt, some pepper, and I baked it in the oven at 350 degrees for I think it was like 15 minutes is what I did. And it was so good. And then I did like a little trail mix nut with some dark chocolate nuts and pumpkin seeds. And I think I had two pieces of bacon. But yeah, I'm trying to like do well. I fell off the bandwagon of working out and eating healthy, which I told my brother. Of course, I wasn't working out when we went to Ohio, but I did a lot of hiking. We did a lot of walking, but my food, guys, I ate whatever I wanted to eat, and it's all about balance, and I don't like to restrict myself anyways, um, but I mean, I was eating the pizza, I was eating the Italian pasta, the Christmas cookies that I found at the store, Reese cups, and then um, Halloween happened, and I've been eating Snickers bars throughout the day, and like anything. And that's great. Like, I am okay with that. But not not like five to 10 Snicker bars in one day. <laughs> because I don't need it. I didn't want it. It just tasted good. So I'm trying to reel myself in, give myself a nice balance. I'm really trying to take care of my body. You guys know that my body is in prep mode for embryo transfer. So... I'm just really trying to take care of myself and that is what I am working on at the moment. I'm I'm in a happy place. I'm a little sad that I don't feel well. I feel like I really think it's the estrogen. Please let me know if you have gone through the fertility journey or if you're a nurse or please let me know in the comments. I did look up the symptoms of taking, I'm on estradiol, which is also estrace essentially estrogen, I think. The symptoms, one of the symptoms was nausea. And so I'm like, okay, it's probably that, but guys, it's like, <laughs> anyways. Anyways, so we're gonna have fun today. I also wanna go, oh, my sweater, <laughs> guys. Here's one of the grandma sweaters that I purchased from, where did I get this? Where did I get this? Cracker Barrel. And I love it, I love the little foxes. I pulled it out of the closet when I went to go 
before I went in the shower and I looked at Larry and I said, is it too early for Christmas trees? He's like, well, no, they don't look exactly Christmassy. They're just kind of like silver. Um, they're kind of toned down. They're like winter foxes. So I thought it was okay. But what we need to do today is I want to pull out, since we did all the decor yesterday, I want to pull out all of the Halloween sweaters and stuff and put them in totes and store them under the bed and pull all of my Christmas sweaters and stuff out. I also recently purchased a few Christmassy sweaters on Etsy. So as soon as those come in, I'm gonna share them with you and we can support some Etsy businesses. I love doing that every single holiday. Um, I pick out some stuff from Etsy for Christmas and it's it's I'm very excited for those to arrive. So as soon as those arrive, I will share them with you guys. Uh, but for now, let's head off to the bedroom. Also, you know how I did my makeup with you guys the other day, yesterday, last vlog? I was on the phone with my friend Hillary earlier today and we were just kind of talking about life. Oh, Hillary, she's back from her, oh my God, my brain's not working either. She's back from her honeymoon. She went up to New Hampshire. She sent me some pictures. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. But we were kind of like talking about makeup. I was doing my makeup on FaceTime as I was talking to her. And I was like, I think this is like my new everyday look, that, that look that I did in that video. I am not straying for it. I just straying from it. I just think it's a perfect, not to like toot my own horn or brag about my makeup. I just think that it's, <gasps> you have to see this. Look at them again, being so precious. Oh, hi Nuna. What are you doing? Are you being a good girl? You are so cute. Hi. Hi little bean. And then, oh, I'm sorry, go back to sleep. I pulled out all of the Halloween stuff and then I had my whole family over for Halloween and everything got thrown in the closet and I'm not even gonna show you guys because it's an absolute disgraceful situation. And I also have a huge bag of clothes that I'm gonna be taking to Angela. I went through my closet and literally got rid of half of my closet. But I'm gonna grab all of this Halloween stuff and we're gonna pull the bins out from underneath the bed and get started on this. <gasps> Larry's home! Hi babe, how'd it go? Okay, that's okay. I can get my medicine when I go out with mom. Oh. That's fine. And, uh, Cause I gotta get painting liners and all that crap anyway. Aren't they cute? You've got a brand new oil filter, a new oil change, all your fluids topped and your air pressure's all Thank you. corrected. So that's all the Halloween stuff. Oh, you know what? I think I had everything in here. Oh, nope, that's Christmas. Oh, Christmas bedding, how exciting. All right, so this must be where all the bedding is. I'm not gonna put the Christmas bedding on yet, but we have owls. And then, oh, my favorite, this red and white, so beautiful. Okay, so I thought I had all my Halloween shirts in there and I think I did, but apparently I stuffed it with Christmas bedding. So what are we going to do? I need more storage. Oh, there's an empty bin. Okay, we're good. We are set. Okay, I'm not gonna get you. You guys just, you just stay happy as little kitty clams over there. No, I'm definitely missing a crap ton. Oh, I didn't put all the pumpkin spice away because I figured I could wear it in November since November it's still like autumn. That's what I did. Okay, that makes sense. But we'll still make that kind of accessible just in case we need to add to it. Somebody wants to buy the house and somebody wants me to get cremated. Oh, okay. That's terrible. All right, so now let's find the Christmas clothes bin. <laughs> too early? We're not too early. Let me know. I don't think it's too early. I just said I was gonna keep it accessible and here I am pushing it all the way to the back. Hi, Lexi. Oh, look, I got this last year and never wore it. It still has the tag on it. I think I got this from Walmart. Okay, what do we have? Okay, so we have my turtleneck, which I don't think I wear very often, but I still like it. I like the colors of it. It's pink and light blue and red and green. It's cute. It's cute. You guys can't really see over there, can you? All right, cool, you guys are on the bed. So we have the Grinch, I like that. 
This is from Universal. Pull that out. Oh, just a classic little t-shirt. We love that. Oh, this is cute. It's like an off the shoulder, slouchy, very feminine. Oh, my Christmas PJs. Yay. This is cute. I think this was an Etsy purchase last year. What size did I get it in? A large. I went through a phase of like buying everything large and I wish I would have got, I'm more, I'm like, I'm a medium. So everything is, but last year I think everything was that oversized fit. So for me, a large was the oversized fit and the medium was like my true to size and I can do a small, but I prefer a medium. Anyways, I'm rambling. So that was an Etsy purchase. This is also an Etsy purchase. Did I even wear this last year? Is this a medium? No, it's a large as well. I got all larges. I wore this a couple times. I remember that. My Little Pink Mary, also an Etsy purchase. I loved this sweater. This is a thrift store find. Love that. Oh, one of my favorites. I think this was a gift from one of you guys in the P.O. Box like three or four years ago. Love it. It's Harry Potter. This is turning into a Christmas sweater thing. <laughs> Some reindeer leggings. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yep. Okay. That's cute. That's very loud. Oh, I loved this. This was a thrift store find too. Guys, go to your local thrift store right before the holidays because they have a lot of cute stuff. This is from Victoria's Secret. Like, look how cute that is. This is an Etsy purchase. <gasps> Luna's butt is like knocking over the camera. <laughs> Santa baby. Is this also in a large? Man. Well, the shirts that I ordered this Luna's tail year on Etsy, I ordered all mediums. So who knows? Maybe the large will be perfect later down the line. This was a gift from one of you guys in the pe in the pizza in the PO box. It says, "I don't know, Margot." That is from Christmas Vacation. Guys, look at my nose. I think this is Larry's actually. This is Larry's. Love that. Is this Larry's as well? This is also Larry's. Oh my God, so inappropriate. <laughs> I'm not showing it. It's a Merry Christmas, you filthy animal with two reindeer that are being very inappropriate. I'm not showing it. This I've had for years. I rarely wear it. It's a men's sweater, but I still think it's cute. And then this last one I found at the thrift store last year. So, All right, guys. It had a stain on it. I still wore it. Why did I buy it with a stain on it? I thought it was really unique and cute so I got it all right I'm gonna hang up all of these put them in the closet and then we are settled for our Christmas wardrobe and all Halloween is put away all right so my closet is actually color coordinated but I think what I'm gonna do is have the front section instead of color cut coordinating it and mixing it all I think I'm just gonna put it right in the front so I know what is Christmas sweater and what isn't that way I can just grab a Christmas sweater and put it on for the day so that's what we're gonna do and no, I'm not skipping Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I'm just trying to get ahead of the game and get organized because I feel like when you go out of town, you know, for the weekend and then you come back and you have lots of doctor's appointments, like things are just going to fly by and it's going to be here before we know it. And I'm trying to get ahead of the game because also Vlogmas, which I love and enjoy every year, but it does take like a lot of time. So I like to be all ready and prepared prepared before December 1st, which Vlogmas is less than a month away. <laughs> All right. You seeing what mama's doing? We're getting ready for Christmas. This is your second Christmas. Are you trying to go in that tote? You can go in the tote. If it fits, it sits. Here is our Christmas sweater section. So this isn't technically Christmas, but to me it looks very Christmassy. Um, and then here we have it. So I have my whites, my little multicolored pinks, the blues, the grays, which the gray should technically be right after the whites, but I screwed that up. Um, my reds and then my blacks. So this is going to be our front and center Christmas section. And I really like it. Oh, look. 
look, frosty tall Christmas trees. I have found my garland. I had to purchase three of them because I needed a seven foot one and a six foot one. And these, no, a seven foot and a nine foot. And these are six foot. So I got two for the longer space. And then for the seven foot space, I'm just gonna balance the six foot garland in this and just center it. And then for the lights, I found these. Actually, mom found them. They're battery operated twinkle lights. So, and they're 23 and a half feet. So I'll just rope that and then pop it up there and we will be good to go. So Hobby How Lobby- do I need to go up that step? Was it sixth if we were gonna do every other? I think so, yeah. See, look, he's kind of cute too. Yeah, mom has fallen in love with all these little guys. Chef they are fitters. so cute. But I love the moose, he's adorable. Is his nose dirty or is he supposed to be like that? He's probably supposed to be like that. Oh no, he, no, his nose is dirty. Guys, my little soul is dying because look at how cute these are. Look at them. They're just the cutest little creatures. We love them so much. And then, ah, yes. Oh, she's cute. Love her. Look at this mushroom. This is just the best. This section, I'm- She'd be cute sitting in the table under the tree. Oh yeah. She is very adorable, isn't she? Yeah, I like. <laughs> is this supposed to be a skunk, you think, Mom? Ma <laughs> skunk? I think so. <laughs> Cute skunk. Oh my gosh, they're too precious. I'm half tempted to get one. I mean, they're only 50% off. I mean, they're 50% off. Not only, they are 50% off. Hi guys, I am home from a wonderful shopping evening with my mom. We had a wonderful time and Hobby Lobby was incredible. And now I officially know why they don't have anything left come December 1st because they were having a 50% off sale and it was so crowded in there. There were so many people in there and people pretty much just buy it out. So we got there at a perfect time and I basically have enough stuff to do a full haul. So I'm not going to show it in this video, which is kind of lame. I know you're probably thinking that, but I literally have so much I could do a full video. So let me know if you guys want to see like a full Hobby Lobby Christmas decor haul. Um, and then I will film that for you guys. Otherwise it's going to be another 20, 25 minutes. Um, so I'd really like to make that its own video. If you guys want to see it, again, let me know in the comments below. And my mom and I literally, if you guys can, and you love the holidays and you love Christmas and, and you enjoy Christmas shopping, go to Hobby Lobby, grab your cart, maybe don't grab your cart, <laughs> and just literally peruse and slowly go up and down every single aisle. It is so much fun and it is so relaxing and peaceful. So yeah, we had a really, really great evening. And then I had to pick up a prescription for my, my IVF medication. So I got that. We did the Hobby Lobby stuff. And then afterwards, we picked up Wendy's on the way home because it was quick. It was easy. It was fast. Not the best for us, but it was quick. So we grabbed that. And then I just took mom home. And I am so, so, so tired. I started to get a little bit of a migraine. So I had to take a migraine medicine. But hence why I'm probably super tired right now. But I had a wonderful day filming with you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and hanging out with me. And I hope you guys all have a very wonderful day. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>